for harpoons. This is my plan. But yeah, chapter 9. I had just managed to subdue Borikil and her bear clan on our way to the Runestone. They were, like us, from the old continent, but had come ashore in a completely different place. As we neared the Runestone, Svarn grew more and more agitated. He confessed to be dreading something that lay ahead though he couldn't tell what it was. Some of our people were also reluctant to move forward. Northgard was getting harsher and harsher, as if trying to deter us from pursuing our goal. Um, the air is getting colder, way colder, as a matter, matter of fact. This is the uh, nice way to put it, I am freezing. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting all of my life choices, being a uh, berserker and all I can to deal my toes. I just for a soup high the heart. I'm thinking about all the firewood we'll have to burn to get warm again, and I'm getting depressed. Oh, come on, Ludico there hasn't killed anyone here. Are you uh, all babies? Want me to tuck you all in the warm little beds? Hey, I'm all, I'm all for farming up my bed. Seriously, Jill? Let's just say you're not my type, Tuggy boy. No, we have arrived. The runestone of Asgard lies yonder. Let us see it there. Swarn. We we should turn back. I do, do not want to face what lies ahead. Come on, Biggie. It's just the huge st stones. You probably aren't afraid of rocks now, are ya? Wow, what was that? No, not this. This beast has haunted my dreams all for my life. Oh, this is Imgander. I have never seen one with me own two eyes. All my ancestors have famously killed one each. You think you can slay that beast for real? I'm sure I can let this opportunity hanging its head in my trophy room fly by me. Even if I'm tight rank, let's set her here. Ha, ah, it's good to feel one wingers wingers fingers again. So how should we proceed to slay that thing? Those speeds are pretty much invulnerable to basic weapons. We have to forge a special family weapon we call the Worm Slayer. We will need some rim steel and the forge. Rim steel, the famous ice sword that is said to be only found in Nilfhelm. Nirf, <laughs> yeah, so you sure know how to inflate your legends. No need to go to 
bir F20. Film kredi tabii ki living rooms the rich environment, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding some around here. Well, good luck with that. Forget, I will help you fend off the beast while the miners are at work. Even if we cannot make the tent in its armor for the time being, we should be able to distract it, right? I obviously cannot watch from the sidelines. I should help you to Lady Porgild. I can't let the bird take all the credit for turning such a big monster now, can I? Call me in, Porg. Not too keen on risking being devoured alive here, but I do not think we have much of a choice. Call me in too. I need to face my deepest fears. I shall fight with you all. Alright, let's do this. Alright, skull camp. House. Get population limit up there, there, can stay, don't care. I think I want to just go. There are supposed to be a lot of sheep on that tile. But what I wanted to do first thing is to... How many bear? Three bears. I don't think they're gonna come and help me clear, right? Nope. Alright, three bears. Alright, Tommy, is there wolves yet? Yeah, those I can take care of. Minus one full income, incredible. There are three ships, or two ships, three wolves and one bear. That's doable. I have to go from this style. If you're playing on easy, you can go from here to here. But I guess I have to take another one extra tile here. That also should be one lord there. And then I don't remember what the other tiles were. style What? What? Uh, the hunger just devoured the rhyme steel deposit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah hunger is pretty feed on the rhyme steel. That's why they live close to deposits. I guess we should not let it to get too comfortable then. It has probably been idling for too long. If we let it eat it all the rhyme steel, we'll not be able. We'll be, we'll be left with no way to slay it. Yeah. Alright, keep fighting. Okay. 
kill two of the sheeps. Good. Get that tile. So, do I want to get the. Forest. Yeah, there's a bear, I can't get it. I'm gonna need to get hibernation to heal myself up. Sharp axes, hibernation, colonize, colonize, hibernation, and then harpoons is gonna be the way to go. Can have some there also. Might as well just. Start killing the sheep that I don't need to have. And these to get a bit of income. So the fisherman for the winter. After the feast. Yeah, I'm gonna just kill another sheep and then beast. Colonization will happen. I do need to scout at least two more tiles. It's gonna be a wolf camp, and that is a lot of stone with the drawers, and that there is a drawer camp. There is also a shipwreck that I can take, but I'm not sure about that. I'm thinking long about just beasting again. Yeah, I'm gonna beast again. And yeah, there is another fish here that we can make use of. So that's good. Also, the blessing is gonna be worth blessing. Upgrade my fisherman. And then what there is in it is in it. Hibernation into harpoons. So that they can go and clear with my four guild and the beer again. I probably will have to take the floor masters away. Five bulls there. It's fine, they can attack. Wow. 
one bear in the forest. I'm gonna kill the Trogas first to get another Fisherman tile and then probably just start upgrading everything. Trading coinage and carpentry mastery is gonna be the way. Or I can ignore that and upgrade everything for full and just go weaponsmith and protector of the land to get more happiness. That also works. Alright, only minus three, that's not too bad. Then I'm gonna even get the three lower masters. I do also need to get mining efficiency, so I'm thinking I'm gonna ignore the carpet the mastery. Gonna go mining efficiency, weaponsmith, and protector of the land. And can colonize this for AT, that's pretty good. Just making sure that my poor guild is gonna stay alive. Alright, colonize it and get another fissure knot. And it doesn't really matter where I'm gonna have the street post because I can have it also here. And I'm gonna change what I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade miners and fishermen. I have another sheep that I can just slaughter. And I guess I could also have a brewery. I need to learn trading, right. Yeah, then it's gonna be trading coinets. Or gold income. One, two, three, four, five dice. 
see if we get this and get another one, we're gonna get me bonus happiness, but for now, I'm waiting on the lore. Alright, so yeah, I'm getting some people with theory being out. The lore masters I'm gonna take away. Get the trading in, blessing, upgrade the miners. And then upgrade the fisherman when I can. Range range post. Trade with them. Get that thing coming. And I think I want to have more population first. So can I have brewery guy. And then get more merchants working here. Alright. Get the fisherman upgrade. And that's gonna be everything. Alright, can upgrade main to get my population or population to train faster. With that in mind, I might even want to get recruitment here. But yeah, I have so much I need to upgrade first before I'm even gonna expand here and try to get the 70 steel, 45 on one tile, and there are so many tiles left. Now we need gold. It's coming slowly. Doesn't matter what year it is, is it summer or winter, my fishermen are gonna have pretty much exactly the same amount of food.
Alright, go become a brewery. Then I can upgrade the fisherman huts. I'm not gonna get sick of the wolf color, I don't need to. Alright, can join one more. Good, that's gonna be all of my happiness. Then next one up with are the fisherman huts to get more food income. Maybe even get one seller here. Or there, doesn't really matter. It's just if I want to use gold to develop land or not. Get the second miner back. Yeah, the lower income is like nowhere to be found anymore. And I don't really need it. Could have rushed for recruitment and then the second blessing, but it's fine. I want to upgrade first. I don't think I'm gonna even move there anymore. Gonna let her stay where she is. Or maybe... I do want to kill the wolves there and colonize the tile. Yeah, the food production is not gonna... ...tee her at all. Alright, there you go back. Orgil, go also back. And with this upgrade, I do need. I don't need any stone for the forge. I can only upgrade houses a little bit. But yeah, I don't need any more stone. So gonna start collecting food. Alright, we need wood. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade two houses. Why not? I can feast. There isn't any reason not to. Because the uh, food consumption, well, it is for the villagers, but for the fishermen, it doesn't care. And the wood consumption is increased, so it doesn't really take that down. Yeah, it's fine. 
I usually don't want to be Steam Inter, but right now it's alright. I can even go for another beast here. Yeah, sure. Alright, there is six rims still left there. Uh, probably I'm not gonna even try to go and mine that. I have six villagers, so that's gonna mean six miners and then one merchant. That's a good pull takeaway. And just have the trade going. Alright, let's start colonizing. Kill the ship, don't need it. Good. I'd be the first territory with Dream Steel with control. We'd better defend it, cause the PC doesn't like trespassers. Trespassers, well, yeah. It does like trespassers. Just keep colonizing. And let's get the mining on the way. I think there is one more of the mist already. Nope. Not gonna mind that. Just gonna go for that one. Alright, sadly that 32 there got it. I'm not as vigorous as I used to be. I have to catch my breath and do something. Alright, I can start building the forge. Destroy the scout camp. And put the forge. A recruitment for faster spawn rate, even though they don't really need. Then recolonize that. I'm gonna get more food to recolonize every area he's gonna take away. Get two miners. And I don't think I have any other workers available to go with there. One, two, three, four. Exploit for rim steel at once. Yeah, I'm exploiting a little bit more. No, I was running away. <laughs> Too late. I'll start putting that. Oh, another one right there. Well, rip. I can also colonize that tile. I don't think I have any mines there. Nope. Go repair that. 
Another one is working there. These guys are gonna go slow that die. I can't take worm down a little bit. Yeah, this is on hard mode, by the way. I think there was one miner there. Don't think there were any. Oh, there's one also oh, there. I can go there. And you are without the mission. To say the least, you're gonna get one in a second. Alright, you guys go back. We have enough room still to start forging the room slayer. Alright, nice. Get all the miners back then. Don't need to forge anymore or mine anymore. Alright, we'll just go where the plus 15% from the poor guild is. Hey, stop taking my territory. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I'm just recolonizing it right away. But again. The room slayer is complete. Oh, that was about time. Now to get to live up to my family tradition of slaying Rimkandar. Oh boy, I can't wait. Now this to make us famous for sure. 
I cannot lie, I mean tit adept excited, but mostly terrified. Yeah, very exciting for sure. Can't wait to be chewed alive. Oh! Alright. Let's just everyone go there. Yeah, you're supposed to send army, but... I think I'm gonna be a little bit too late. Or maybe... Oh, too bad. I would have wanted all my villages to go there. Probably could have done that. Well, too bad. Put the house here so they're gonna gather. Alright, these guys are not gonna come. If I'm not gonna go. I feel relieved. See, Piggy, the beast is dead. I think I need a bigger power base, though. This is a big one. Strange, the air suddenly becomes slightly warmer. My, my ancestors used to say that killing a Imkander could bring spring back. Maybe it was responsible for the winters getting harsher in this, in the region. Or the only thing left is to decipher the rules of Asgard. Yes, let us see what the truth the rules have to tell us. We had finally reached the rune stone of Asgard. Whoever Vedrun was, his actions seemed to be foretold by the old scriptures etched in the stone. Svarn translated, He will want to set the men free from the yoke of the All Father, for he does not want them to share in his feast, and to this end he will destroy Bifrost. As the wail of Yallarhun echoes through the skies, the sons of Nyspell will march on Asgard. Thus the gods shall meet their fate, and the age of men shall begin, Svarn concluded thoughtfully. There was no map to Bifrost on the runestone, but one stanza read that it was beyond Bergelmir's throat. This was a kenning, a metaphor for the icy cliffs far to the north, 